has been a long and difficult journey for the Boston Bruins. It started with a historic preseason trip to China. Then, 82 regular season games, followed by 17 hard-fought playoff contests. And of course, years of discipline and self-sacrifice. Through it all, the dream is always there. The goal, always the same. Now the Bruins have the opportunity to fulfill those dreams. The dreams of every hockey player who ever laced them up. They will play for Lord Stanley's Cup. It's been a long wait, 11 days in fact, since Boston defeated Carolina to advance, but it's finally time for game one of the 2019 Stanley Cup Final. The Boston Bruins versus the St. Louis Blues. Best of seven, winner take all. Now, under the bright lights, on hockey's biggest stage, Bruce Cassidy, David Krejci, and our rocking jam to the Rafters TD Garden crowd are ready for some Stanley Cup action. With the Bruins' long layoff, rust was a major concern coming into game one. And for the first part of this tilt, those worries seem justified. Well, we have a giveaway here and a feed on front score! Tarasenko! And it's two to nothing! You guys gotta challenge one another here to play the right way! All right, time to make up, boys. Now let's go! Keep building, huh? Keep building. Let's go. Come on, Devil. Let's go. Black and Gold seized the momentum with a dominant second period, then continued the onslaught into the third. Come on, let's attack here. Let's get something to the net. Don't turn down shots here. Wedges it up to the far point. Char keeps it in. Rister on net. Bennington gave a rebound. Far circle at center. Corrali shoots. He scores! With the lead now secure, the men from Boston look to finish this game off with a flourish. And that includes the Bruins players and staff watching from the locker room as Brad Marchand's open net dagger officially puts this one out of reach. We responded well, not to start we wanted, we knew there'd be some hiccups, but, and I, and I still think we have another level, but understand, right, it's one, it's one, it's one game, we did what we had to do, but remember, that's just one, all right, and Tori, you know what else, you are also a sexy, tough son of a, oh! you and Grizz both, man, anyway, good win, man, see you tomorrow. Let's make sure we don't give them anything in the media to feed off of, huh, we, we had a great second, third there, but uh, don't give them any life, and let's Enjoy this, but it's only one one more. Yeah, we see you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Rebound, Gunnarsson near point. Gunnarsson high slot. High slot. He fires and scores. And the St. Louis Blues have beaten the Boston Bruins three to two in overtime to even the Stanley Cup Final Series at one game apiece.
There's not much time to dwell on the tough Game 2 loss because less than 24 hours later, the Bruins are headed to St. Louis for Games 3 and 4. Black and Gold will have two days to regroup and prepare for a huge Saturday night tilt at Enterprise Center. All right, let's do this. The third game of the Stanley Cup Final will be the 20th of the Bruins' 2019 postseason. It will also be career playoff game number 104 for that little ball of hate who wears number 63 for Boston, Brad Marchand. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! Yes, yes, yes. yes! That's how we do it. Yeah! Good job, go. Good job, hey! Hey! That's you! That's you, baby! And the bees do keep it going, adding another goal to finish the first period up 3-0, as well as getting a power play to start the second frame. That's a period, boys! Good shot. Got quiet quick. Carter! Yeah! Yeah! That's what we do! That's what we do! Good job, good job. Yeah. Good job boys. That's the way to win pucks down low, you two. That's it. Good job, Marshall. Good support, bro. Krug, high slot, Marshall played the pass off his knees, back to Krug, right circle, shoot, he scores! Brad and the Bruins continue their attack and chase Blues goalie Jordan Bennington. Not surprisingly, things then get a little chippy. Also not surprisingly, our man Marchand is ready for that. Holy f are you shooting out right-handed? We're gonna get oh, it Thanks, Thanks, man. Oh, right, right, right. series, bud. Yes. A lot of testosterone flowing around out here. Heads up, heads up! Hey, take your cape off! Who are you kidding? Complete game for the boys from Boston as they get back on track with a 7 2 shellacking of the Good Blues. Job. Right. Good job, boys. Yeah. Good job. Great job, Brando. Good job, Heino. Great job, bud. Good job. Great job, big man. Help the game. The day after their Game 3 victory, the Bruins are back to work, but they have also made time for a special guest, diehard fan Justin Garrels, who has come all the way from Anchorage, Alaska. What's going on, man? Oh my gosh! Don't freak out, don't freak out. I'm not. <laughs> nice to meet you. Took a rest. Very nice to meet you. What's going on? Justin is recovering from a severe motorcycle accident that left him in a coma. While he was unconscious, his wife Shayna kept vigil and talked to him every day willing him to wake up. Okay. So every year we watch the Stanley Cup, and I said, wouldn't it be amazing when the Bruins, whenever the Bruins make it, yeah. that we would go for our anniversary? Well, this year, I told him he had to wake up yeah. uh, from his coma yeah. in order for that to happen, and I kept updating him on how the Bruins <laughs> yeah. were doing, and I yeah. said, if you just wake up, honey, maybe they'll make it this year, and this is the year we'll go. Oh, that's awesome. That is exactly what happened. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> yeah, hey. Pleasure to meet hey. you, sir. Miss, thank you. We heard about uh, so much your story, and we're uh, very touched by it, and we're inspired as well. So, I'm just when I'm around my heroes. Oh my God! There he is, Marky. 
<laughs> How you doing? Marky! What's happening? Dude! Nice to meet you. I need, I need a hug, man. All right, bring Come it on. in. Come on. Pleasure oh. to meet you. It may be the pressure-packed Stanley Cup final, but the Boston Bruins have not forgotten that there are things more important than hockey. So now, let's keep those positive vibes yeah. going for game four. You guys all have made my dreams come true to you today. Thank you so much. Recovered and got it on back there for a wrister by Vince Dunn that is sent away. Wrapper and it's gone! 1-0! A first minute goal for St. Louis means Brad Marchand and the Bruins are chasing this one right from the start. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Our turn! Our turn now! Let's go! Oh, we gotta play north! First option, north! 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 Down by a goal early in the second, the Bruins suffer a blow when Zidane Chara gets a deflected puck to the mouth, and his return is uncertain. Now, more than ever, the team needs number 63 to step up. Good job, big man. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Good job! Good job! Good job. Yes! Yeah! third period begins, number 33 reminds everyone why he is the captain of the Bruins, returning to the bench to support his team even though he is not able to play. Despite that, it's a frustrating 20 minutes for Boston. As the Bruins gather before a pivotal game five, the big question is whether Zidane Chara, now diagnosed with a fractured jaw, can somehow manage to play. And the big man has an emphatic answer. Hell yeah. He will be on the ice leading his team tonight. Inspired by their captain, Charlie McAvoy, Charlie Coyle, and their teammates start this game strong, peppering the St. Louis net. Hey, that almost went in. He had no idea where that was. That shot? Yeah. I know. No puck luck for Boston, though, and early in the second, it's the Blues who draw first blood. Once again, the Bruins are chasing the score. One goal game here. Keep doing your job all over the ice. Work to get pucks back and attack. Next one's in, man. Holy It's a frustrating game for Boston, to say the least. St. Louis holds their lead into the third period, and then, of course, this happened. The bees channel their anger at the controversial non-call into a goal. Then, it's an all-out assault to try and tie this one up in the frantic final moments. Bergeron wins it again. Near point, it's Krejci. Fires, Bennington the save, rebound squirts to Steen. He'll skate it far side, and the St. Louis Blues come up with a victory in game five. It is a tainted victory, but they have now put themselves one win away from their first ever Stanley Cup title. As the Bruins get ready for this one, they know their fate rests in their own hands. Win, and they go home for game seven. Lose, and the season is over. 
So everybody is fired up for this one. Across to Pasternak again. Pasternak sent it across. Score! What a shot by Marshawn! Boston strikes first. Then they keep the lead intact with fantastic goaltending, strong penalty killing, and of course, some great work behind the bench. We got some high flip situations we can use if we need to, right? Let's not get married to it, but they just do it. It's tough, it's tough to defend. You guys know. Okay, you gotta use your feet first, numbers first, then your feet. If not, it's out in the neutral zone. We'll battle it out. The decision to add Carson Kuhlman to the lineup looks pretty good as he makes it 3 0 Boston. Now, coach wants to make sure his team finishes this game the right way. Follow it up here. Follow it up. Okay, I want Z. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I'm gonna tell you something. You should know this, and Z, share your experiences, right? You gotta tune everybody out. All right, and your immediate family is your most important thing. This group, what's at stake? All right, you got your buddies. Don't even talk to them. You can talk to them Thursday all you want. Let's get in our bubble and get this done. What can you say about Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final? After all the travel, all the games and practices, plus over two months of grueling playoff hockey, this is it. There is no tomorrow. The Stanley Cup is in the building, and tonight one team will win the right to hoist it. Riding the incredible energy of the raucous home crowd, Patrice Bergeron and the Bruins get out to a fast start, storming the St. Louis end. Hey! So keep your feet moving though, that's all right. Keep skating. Be a shooter. Shoot it, shoot it. Petrangelo holding, got it to Bowmeister. Shoots one, Score! We stay away here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! As the Bruins try to fight back from their 1-0 deficit, the Blues score in the waning seconds of the first period, and suddenly the challenge is a lot more difficult. Keep going, Black! We're shot away to be back in it! Let's go! Don't get away from it! Got a great first pair, shoot the puck. The bees keep on shooting, but just can't find the back of the net in period two. And then things take a turn for the worse in the third. St. Louis adds another goal to put this game and the Stanley Cup out of Boston's reach. The Bruins season ends one win short of hockey's ultimate prize. Awesome. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. Hell of a job coming back, buddy. Unbelievable, no man. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you for everything you've done for me as a player. Thank you. You're a warrior, buddy. Thank you. 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 After the final siren, after the handshakes, and while the celebration continued on their ice, 
the men in black and gold headed to their dressing room, having played as deep into a season as a team possibly can without raising the cup. There were tears, there was disbelief, and there was pain. There was certainly pain. But as the hours and days have passed since that final game, it's clear that there was a special bond with this Bruins team. They captured our imagination and our hearts. So for one final time, here's to the 2018-2019 Boston Bruins and to all of the incredible Bees fans for their unwavering support. Thank you for one hell of a season. Is it October yet? Thank you.